this is Dana. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I am back with my next craft fair idea. This is not new. I made one of these videos last November. Um, everybody makes Hershey Nugget Packs, but y'all, they are a great seller at your craft fair. I like to have a few treats within my stuff that I sell. And y'all, it sells every time. It really does. So um, let me just get going on this. I will also link my video from last year so you can kind of see the paper colors I use and so forth. But it's all going to be the same measurements. So anyway, I hope you stick around. I have, let me just start this. And by the way, I know I've been kind of MIA for a few days here on YouTube. Um, but this week has been a very busy day at work, a busy week at work. I actually took the day off today. My husband and I, we went to East Texas this morning so I could change the flowers on my parents' grave. Um, y'all know that, um, if you've watched me for a while, you know, that's something that's important to me to make sure that I, you know, go pay my respects often to my parents. And so today we changed the flowers and and everything and I sat and talked to them like they're really sitting next to me I like to think they are and because um, I know they're in heaven one day I'll see them again and it's okay but it's still hard I told my husband I was so glad he came with me because because you know um it's hard whenever I go by myself I sit there and cry by myself and I don't cry a whole lot because I'm better now but you know it just is how it is anyway I did have not put a video out this week, I, I think since last Saturday, because I have been trying to finish my bowl koozies in the time I had available. And so y'all, I have finished my bowl koozies. Um, I um, posted on my Instagram and I did post on my Facebook, Crafty Crafts by Dina also. I got a big old leaning power, a tower of bowl koozies and I ended up, well, I had cut fabric, not even counting, and I ended up with 32. Well, I had 34, but I gave two as a gift to a friend. So I have 32. That's all I'm making for my craft fair. Um, so anyway, I'm excited that I was able to get those done and it's only mid-September. So they are the most time consuming things almost that I make. So now I can concentrate on other things. I've got I've got two more projects sitting over here that I'm hoping I can work on today or at least tomorrow to try to get them done as well. So anyway, let's just get on with these Hershey, Hershey, Hershey Nugget Packs. Come on, Dina, speak. Now, as you see, I've already wrapped all my, all my nuggets just to kind of save time, okay? Um, so let me show you, uh, this is the nuggets that I purchased. I got them at Costco, comes 145 in a bag. And I believe I paid around $15 for the bag. I even remember the days when I paid like $10 for the bag. They have went up, but it is what it is. Everything has. So this is the paper collection. Let me show you the paper collection I'm using this time. I am using the Sugar Plum Christmas. Um, by photo play and I went ahead and I cut a bunch of strips these are all one by threes and so forth and only thing I need to do only thing you need to do when you're wrapping these is a paper and I use just regular old scotch tape okay so let's just get going on this um, like I said I I will link my last video from last year uh, with this and um, yeah um, if you'd like to check that one out as well, it's going to be the same kind of tutorial, um, but different colors. So you can see what those color combinations, and I have been making these for many years. <laughs> so anyway, what you're going to need is that one by three, and you're going to take a piece of scotch tape. I'm putting it on the end. Take your Hershey Nugget, and you see how the flap on the back is facing down? That's what I want. I want to see it facing down. Then I'm going to put my piece of paper over the top and I am going to just wrap it around and put another piece of tape on there. And there you go. It doesn't touch the chocolate. It stays nice and safe and looking good. Okay. So this was an extra that I have. I have six, I have six piles, well, different colors. So six different ones, it's gonna be six nuggets in each pack, and I had enough to make 23. I have five nuggets left over, and I've, I'll be honest, I over the last week, I've probably eaten about five of these. You gotta taste it, y'all. Gotta make sure it's good, okay? 
So let me fix my mat here. Let's get going. What you're gonna need to do is you're going to, and I'm gonna move these guys over. Move little Hershey Nuggets, get out of my way. So I'm gonna take my paper trimmer and I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna do this kind of hanging off my desk here, okay? So I'm going to take some red paper and I'm using, so this is 65 pound. You can use a thicker one if you like. I wouldn't use anything thinner than this. You want your little tray to be, um, you want it to be nice and sturdy, okay? So I'm going to go in to get the most out of my paper. I'm going to have it six and a half in height. I'm gonna cut it six and a half and then I'm gonna cut two and one eighth in the width. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's go ahead and I'm gonna do six and a half. And I've got this on the long side and I know that you're not seeing this right in the middle because the good old nuggets are in the way, okay? Let me see if I can move them up a little bit more. So that's six and a half and then I'm gonna turn this way and I'm gonna cut two and one eighth. So you just kind of go a little bit past the two, okay? Two and one eighth. So I've got one. And two. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try to get it as close as you can. Three. Four. So I got five out of that. Let me see how much this paper is. Nope, that won't work. So I can get five of these little trays. I'm gonna end up needing 23, okay? Let me grab my scoreboard. I haven't done too much paper crafting lately because I sew so much. And so I have to pull this out. So let me see if I can get this over here. I want, I want you guys to see this. Okay, I'm gonna take one. You're gonna take one of them. And actually, let's do something. I think I'll grab my good old, my good old smaller one here. Make it a little easier on myself. I'm gonna move this other one back off. Okay, I think I got a little bone folder up in here somewhere. And this one is just by Alt New. I got it on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and you're going to score three eighths of an inch on each side. So I'm gonna go, here's three eighths. I'm gonna flip it around and do a three eighths. Okay, I'm gonna do, okay, making sure. I'm gonna do two of them right now. We'll just do two on camera, I'll finish the rest off. Okay, so there we go. Move this guy over to the side along with my pile. And all you're going to do, of course, is take this and you're going to fold it up on the side like this, okay? And then you're going to take your nuggets and I'm gonna take one of each. So I've got that one and that one and that one. And that one, use any color that you want. I just kind of like red, it's festive. And then there's the last one. And then you're just going to take your little clear bags or whatever you're using, okay? You're going to take your clear bag and you're just going to, let me see, I'm gonna open up the end. I had to pull that off. And then I'm just gonna push these down, put them in a nice order that you think is eye appealing. I'm going to make sure these are nicely set up in here. And I'm going to flip this over. I'm not a big topper person, y'all. If you've watched me for a while, I rarely make toppers. This would be cute with a little topper. But to me, this is supposed to be a simple little project for you. It's already looking good already. Looks better than the ones you buy pre-made in the store in my book. Now, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take some embellishment. Let's go ahead and do the other one since I cut the paper and got it scored. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add one of each. Get in there. I really love this one. That's my favorite. In here. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna grab another little clear bag. If there, if your nuggets are like a directional print, the pictures on them, maybe put them. Make sure that the directional prints all go in the same way. If you care about something like that, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. There we two, two done. I've got 21 to go. Not bad, not bad at all. So let's add a little tag to them. These are low value items. Don't overthink this, okay? I'm going to use my red twine. I always use twine, you can use ribbon. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but I like to. I'm just gonna wrap it a few times around and then I will cut. So just do it as much as you want. I'm gonna go ahead, tying mine off. I like to tie it in a knot and then I will add a tag. I used this piece. This is a piece out of the collection. It's got greetings on it. I cut out season's greetings on one. And this one, I left the little yellow border. This one, I cut it off because it was kind of half cut off, but I'm gonna use these, okay? So all I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add some tape on the back. And then I'm going to, let me get that off there. I can't have the white on white, then I can't see what I'm doing. And I'm just using these little scrap pieces of white that I have, save me room to cut too much. And then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to trim, leaving a little white border. Make these any color you want, of course. And now that I've got this, let me grab my hole puncher. Where are you, hole puncher? Okay, I had it the other day. So I'm looking in my drawer over there. So all you're gonna do is figure out where you want your greeting. I kinda like it where my hole's in the middle. Do it what makes you happy and what you think looks best for you and your project. And you're just gonna thread these through. And I'm gonna tie another knot. And tie that off really good so it will stay. And then I can trim this off. You can make it a bow. I'm just gonna trim it like that. And there you go. There is one done. Let's do the other one. So I'm gonna leave a little tail, start wrapping. And Jolly. You can use, like I was thinking of using my mud bun, but I can just make this easy on myself. Do the best you can. Nothing is perfect. Having my little hole here and tying it through. That easy, y'all. And these are really top sellers at your craft fair. They have been top sellers for me for the last how many years that I've been doing craft fairs? Years. <laughs> and so, make these. If you don't make them, these are a great addition to your craft fair and they're simple. Let's talk pricing now. Now, the paper I already have, I've recently bought the collection, but I'm a, I didn't even use like 
three full sheets of paper for all these, okay? So the paper wasn't much. The red paper, um, I got five out of one, one eight and a half by 11. So I'm gonna have five and I'm gonna need to use probably four sheets of paper to get enough for my little paper trays. So that really, that's not big price. Now what's, what is more costly is the chocolate. At $15 a bag, and there was 144 in the pack, that makes these about 10 cents a piece, approximately 10 cents a piece. So it really does not take me like probably 50 cents to make it. And so these are gonna be, these are gonna be, um, I think I'm gonna stick with these. I think I'm gonna stick with doing $3 or two for five. And I've done that and I know things cost more, but you know what, it still didn't cost me much to make them. And it was not very hard. It's not time consuming and it's not it's not hard so i'm going to still stick these three dollars or two for five and we'll see how well they go so i'm going to have 23 packs in here that's all i'm going to make because that's all the chocolates i will have and so forth and i think it'll be good so anyway that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this give this a try if you're new to this if you're new to craft fairs and stuff these are great sellers and like i said i've done it for years so anyway, yep, enjoy yourself while you're making them. Turn on a movie and just go to town and you can get them done in no time. I will have all these done. I'll have them all done probably within the next hour. And then I'll be able to move on to my next project. And that makes me happy. So anyway, thank you so much everybody for watching. And y'all have increased a few more subscribers. Thank you so much, y'all. I am so close. I am less than 1,000 away from 70K. And if you are new, if you could help me by pushing that subscribe button, that would help me so much, so, so much. When I hit 70K, I will do a giveaway. So just FYI, I hope that you stick around and I hope if you're not subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing. And um, yeah, so that way you can be involved in my giveaway. Anyway, thank you so much. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.